Hello guys and welcome, this is Jebro and this is my turreteer build uh, for the engineer in Guild Wars 2 literally a day after the uh, patch has gone live and I've been playing this build only for a couple of matches but I'm streaming live as well at the moment and a couple of guys said it looked quite fun so I'm going to post it and if it gets ripped to shreds I don't care because it, it to me it's fun and I like it and it could be built on and changed but it is based primarily around one trait. We we will go around uh, through that trait um, as well. But I'm going to primarily have a look at the build. And we're going to have a look at the golems. I'm going to post it. And then I'll put some games up of me playing in a separate video. So that you can check that out separately. And it's just not one uh, long ass video. So um, going to PvP build. Uh, first thing we'll do is we'll go through the sigils and runes and stuff. So uh, I've gone with rifle on this one. Um, I'm going for a it's pa very much power build based because of the um, turret damage as well. The base damage on that uh, is more beneficial towards power, obviously, rather than condi. And I'm not using a burning turret or anything like that. So that's why I've gone with that. Um, for the sigils wise, I've gone for plus five percent damage, the force sigil, and I've also gone for energy sigil as well, which is obviously going to give me fifty percent of my endurance back, um, and I'm going to be able to dodge more and survive because I haven't actually got that much. Um, I haven't really got <laughs> that much survivability, which is a problem. Um, the only problem in this build, but still, I feel like I'm quite survivable in it. I've gone for the runes of the ogre, getting the power. There is the ferocity there as well, which isn't as necessarily as uh, vital. Um, there is the rock dog, which is going to actually be, you know, hunting my enemy as well, which is very useful. Extra 100 power and that 4% damage. So I'm getting extra damage from the sigil there and also the rune, which is really, really nice. Soldier amulet is going to give me my toughness and vitality. So it's going to give me some extra HP um, and some toughness, which is really going to be needed for me to survive uh, significantly in this. Um, so I'm going to go over to the traits now. Uh, as we have a look, it's uh, 10, 0, 30, 10, 10. So I'm going to go through every single trait here, um, looking at the evasive powder keg, which is, sorry, um, is going to give me a bomb when I dodge. We'll just quickly go through the utilities. I do have a healing turret, uh, bomb kit, the thumper turret, uh, the rifle turret, and the supply crate, and obviously the, um, the rifle as well. And uh, we do have some awesome... Awesome gadgets there. I'll, I'll go through um, that after we've gone through the traits. Um, so the first one, obviously, when you dodge, you produce a bomb, which is good. And uh, the, that bomb scales better off power as well, so that's quite nice. Um, accelerant packed turrets. So turrets explode when killed. Um, when your turrets explode, they push back foes. So I have lots of turrets, guys. <laughs> I have many turrets. I have that one. I have that one. I have that one. <laughs> I have my turrets there, you know, I've got so many, so I can, I blast them, which destroys them, which gives me a blast as well, um, and that's a knockback, that's a knockback, that's already three knockbacks, and then I've got big bomb as well, and obviously when these turrets die, from the supply crate, they're going to knock back as well. So there's so many knockbacks and CCs. I'd even put, even consider just putting my supply crate down just when we're trying to down people or just when we're trying to res people. Because if they die just through cleave, they're going to knock people back. If anything, they're going to make people use stability in some, or make people dodge um, in other ways. So it's going to be really, really useful. Um, so that is very, very good. Um, forceful explosives, this is going to be for my bombs, for which is going to put any kind of damage around my turrets, really, and any uh, just to help me, really. I mean, I can secure, I can put down um, a glue bomb, which is actually going to be really, really useful to keep them stuck and use that in combination with big bomb. Also, I can give myself some might if I put down the... Uh, the, the fire bomb obviously as well and use the blast there and if I just want to you know I can do many many things with the bomb kit it's really really good blinding bomb is really good for downing of course and um, blind your opponent and then go for that also you can do the self um, invisibility by using the rifle 5 so it's, that's why I like bomb kits it's got a lot of utility inside it especially if you're using that blast the amount of blasts I could probably get oh god I don't want to know how much stuff. Um, but there's there's a lot of potential for a lot of combos with the bombs and with the turrets. Um, and with the, uh, like I said, with the big old bomb as well. That's going to be very useful. Um, so where were we? We're going to go through the 
inventions. God, we're not even that far through this. So how, how awesome is this build already? Um, <laughs> so gain regeneration when you are struck while below the health the, the health threshold. So 25% you gain regeneration for 11 seconds. Very awesome. This trait line is great. And I hated the fact that I didn't use it much before other than for decap NG. Um, I love it now. So I'm going to go through. Uh, it's now metal plating, which is going to reduce damage dealt to turrets. Obviously, that's good. I need to have my turrets up because they're doing a lot of... The, they're this is, you know, the build. It's called Turretier. I need them to survive. Um, so damage reduced by 33% is a lot. Um, automated medical response. So all heal skills recharge when struck while below the health threshold. Really, really useful as well. Um, I'm going to need that because I need to survive, <laughs> of course. Um, turrets are self-repairing. So 5% five, uh, 5 of the HP gets regenerated every 3 seconds. That's what the interval is. Um, that's really, really good, uh, and it's really useful. Again, increasing the uh, survivability of my turrets, which is so important, um, because that's what the build is centralized around. I mean, there's nothing, it's just kind of a given. Um, performance enhancement, gain power based on an healing attribute. This is kind of not that useful, because I've not really got any healing power. Uh, I've got 300, but it's, I mean, it's, it's a bit of an extra... <laughs> bit of extra damage which is nice i mean at least it's power as well so it does go hand in hand with power it is a very nice trait line um okay this is the biggie uh fortified turrets your turrets are surrounded by a reflective shield uh when created that's four seconds for each turret so i'd say when you go into a fight don't just don't just spam your turrets down i mean maybe if you're in trouble um, and someone's ranging, even like people ranging onto a point like a thief and stuff. This is going to be awesome. I mean, look, you can put those two down, and it puts up that shield. That's four seconds, and then you can put another one down, and you've got eight seconds of protection. So they're going to need to get on the point, otherwise they're wasting like ten seconds outside the point while you're just kind of sitting in this bubble. And then you've got your supply crate, <laughs> one, two, three, and it's it, you know. We, I mean, you, you've got a lot of room to move. You could pull them into that bubble and actually do a lot of CC on them. Um, if you can do that, then sweet. It would be nice to have the toolkit to do that, but I really feel like the bomb kit is just going to be a lot more um, beneficial. Uh, and also the guys who had actually helped me to uh, make this build as well. Um, thanks to them, of course. <laughs> uh, we've done we've done quite a nice little job here. So the rest of the build, basically, I mean, it's quite kind of obvious. Um, invigorating speed and also speed kits kind of go hand in hand. I will go um, elixir B. So you're gonna drink elixir B when you um, strap below the threshold. That which is quite nice. You know, get the um, the uh, boons there, which you see on the, on the screen, which is very useful. Uh, tools, also using toolkits uh, partially restores endurance, so it's always good to get your endurance. I need survivability um, to help me live. Um, so basically, that's pretty much the bulk of it. I can go through a couple of combos now, and you can see kind of the damage. Um, you can, of course, pick these up, and their cooldown goes down lower. If you if you don't need to s destroy your turrets, I wouldn't destroy them. If you need to move, just pick them up and uh, move. Don't just destroy them um, unless you really, really can't get back to them and uh, they're so far away. So, basically, uh, what we're going to do is... I'm just going to creep through a couple of combos. All right, standard kind of combos, you know. I mean, you can put um, the firebomb down and then also put the blast to get extra might failed there but you know what I mean um, what I didn't go through was the actual rumble that's my a big that's a big thing that's pretty much one of the reasons why I chose Fumper Turret as well is because of that um, that stun break and also it does give you a blast um, which is nice when you use that so you know there's loads of stuff I'm going to blast that and get loads of area healing and I've got another blast as well so it's more it's you know there's just so many blasts. I'm going to put my um, Fumper turret down. I've got a blast there. Um, and also, sorry, the automatic... Uh, automatic farm. <laughs> my other turret as well. I've got two more blasts there, guys. Look. A knockback. Another knockback. Another knockback. See, put these down. Glue bomb. Ah. It's going to be not back city. It's just horrible. Like a point hold. This would be an awesome point holder. This would be awesome in Skyhammer, which we played just um, uh, just before this, which was just epic. Uh, 
it's it's really really fun um I'm not sure. I'm gonna put, like I said, I am gonna put this uh, on on YouTube, and then I'm gonna make some videos as well of me actually playing a game. But if you've got any questions, just ask them in the comments below. I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. I will. Do not worry. I will put some game footage on because this is something I'm really invested in. I really, really, really like turrets, and I really want to hope. I want it to become something that gets used in competitive PvP. I know it's NPC thing again, but it is really fun, and I think engineer with turrets is kind of something that in every single game turrets are essential for an engineer to, as their class, something which they like synonymous for. You know, you are a, an engineer. You should have like mechanical shit everywhere. Why not? <laughs> it's just awesome. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you join me on Twitter at JebDan. Also twitch.tv slash JebroUnity. Um, and if you're watching this on Twitch, it is my YouTube channel is youtube.com slash Unity Jebro. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I will see you very, very soon. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, let me know if you tried this build uh, and if you actually had some fun with it and if it was actually any good and useful for you. Uh, thank you very much again, guys, and I will see you soon.